Hi everybody, it's Kent here and welcome back to another C++ tutorial on creating plugins for Cinema 4D. So today what we're going to do is we're going to create a tag and when we create this tag it's just going to be able to be added to the object by right clicking on it and you'll see it in this menu and you can add the tag to the object. Now it's not actually going to do anything, we're not going to make the tag do anything at this stage, I'm just going to show you how to create the tag so that it will actually show up. So let's just quickly do that. Now I'm going to start up my project there. To do this what we mainly need to do is just, we're just going to copy files from the Cinema 4D SDK. And this is similar to what we did in a previous tutorial, where we copied files for, I believe it was the first object. And so I'm going to come into first plugin resource, and I'm just going to have this open here. I'm going to create a, another folder, and in this one I'm going to come into Cinema 4D SDK. I'm just going to dock these side by side, and I'm going to copy files across from each of them. And in the res folder here. Now I want a little extra icon for this, so I'm going to copy that circle tiff there and paste it over here, and I'm going to call it uh, first tag. And now I'm going to go into the strings and description, and I'm going to find a tag that we can just copy something from to start with. So I'm just tags in here, they all start with a T, and I'm going to use the T look at camera expression dot string file. So I'm going to use that just as, uh, as our example description and I'll paste it in there. And I'm just going to rename that to T first tag. And next we want to get the actual resource files from the description folder. So we go to resource description. And let's find the same ones. I'm just pressing T and I'm finding T look at camera. Pasting that in over here. And I'm going to rename that to T first tag. And this one here will be T first tag. And now we're going to start editing some of these files. And I'm just going to close all the windows in here. I'm just going to drag in all the files we're going to edit for our first tag. So there's a resource file there, and it was the one for the string description. And then also I want to add a entry to these strings here. I'm going to add a, a string identifier just with my first tag as the name for the command when we register it. And then inside the description folder as well, uh, sorry, the, oh, we want this one here. We want the actual C40 symbols as well, which is for that. So let's just drag that in here as well. So let's start with that. Let's go IDS first tag. And that's the ID identifier for our string here. So now I'm in strings, C40 strings. And I'm going to call this my first tag. Now I am moving a little bit quickly through this because this uh, is you know, uh, quite simple now. Uh, you've done this a couple of times already with the first object and the first uh, deformer. So let's just keep moving through this. I'm going to change this to T first tag. And I'm going to make that the same there. And rename this to my first tag. And we're going to give it um, we're going to give it something, some parameter. So at the moment, I don't really know what this is going to be. So let's just go uh, first tag underscore param. And I don't yet know what we're going to do with this, but I might make it just a boolean or something. Some parameter. And we can change it later on if we actually end up using it for something. Okay, and in the header file, change the definition here to t first tag underscore h and our first tag param we're just going to put in there and it's starting at a thousand and then we've got the resource file itself so we're going to change that to the name of the string up here or this one here actually and there and the name there we're going to leave that as expression it's going to have a couple of things in it a priority and a uh, an enabled a boolean as is default so let's bring in some other resource files and this is our group for our tag so anything within this tag properties group will appear in the tag uh, tab in the cinema 4d and then we've got a boolean value that we're just going to use and we're just calling it param so we're just going to leave it there as a boolean that you can turn on and off and we may make that do something um, when we get it get it all going so that's all we need there now the last thing we need to do is uh, come into the c files 
and uh, do a few changes. So I'm just going to run the project tool. And again, we created that in the second tutorial, first or second tutorial. Uh, if you want to step back, if you're jumping ahead in the videos to see what this is all about. And now you can see we've got the uh, first tag here in the resource descriptions. And we've also got the first tag. Oh, it doesn't seem to be in the source there. I'm not seeing it. I didn't think I copied those files across. So I missed a couple of files that we needed to grab. So let's go C code SDK. Plugins source. First plugin source. And now I need the files, the uh, C and the header file for the actual plugin itself. So we're going to Cinema 40 SDK source tag and look at camera. Now this is only one file and I'm going to split this into two. So I'm just copying the look at camera. That was the example one that we're going to use, pasting it into our file uh, folder there. And now I'm going to rename that to first tag and I'm going to copy and paste that and make that a header file as well so it's the exact same file right now but we will change that now I'm going to run the, the bat file again and now if I close all these down come in here reload now we're going to see the tag in here first tag so I'm opening up the header file and what I want in the header file is just the class so we're going to copy this class and we're going to strip out things that we don't need. So I'm just going to, at the top here, I'm going to go if, if not defined, first tag underscore h. And actually I'm going to look to make sure that we didn't use this over here. Looks like we used t, so it's fine. I didn't use the exact same, same define. And then after the class, actually end if, and we'll just say what we got it for. And here we want this to be first tag. And in the node data, we're going to be returning a first tag. And we're not going to deal with descriptions at the moment. And uh, I will leave the execute in there for now, but we won't actually use it for anything. I'm just going to leave it there. And now I'm going to delete everything else because we're in the header file. I don't need any of this. And that's our header file for this class. So next we need to do the CPP file. So I jump over to first tag CPP. And the first thing I'm going to do is hash include first tag.h. I don't need that. I will need the symbols because I'm loading the, uh, I'm using that symbol for the string. I'm going to use that. So we need that symbols file. And um, we need the file for the uh, t first tag so we can get access to its resource data. We don't need main, we don't need that, we don't need a class because we've already, um, we've just done that in the header file. So now we want to get the name, which is going to be first tag. And I'm pasting it. So now I am going quite quickly through this now. Um, so you can slow down this video if you need to. But I'm hoping what I'm doing right now is fairly straightforward. So what I'm doing next is I am just setting our Boolean value to a value of true. So that's going to be a checkbox and we're just enabling that by default. And now I want to, well, we're not going to use the descriptions, so I can delete that from here. And we're not actually going to do anything with the execute method, but I am going to just keep that in here because I might do something with it later. And I'm also going to move this to the top of this file, just what I'm doing at the moment and all my other um, examples. And we're going to have an ID called first tag. Uh, later on, what you might want to do is move all these into uh, a potentially uh, a, a file just called IDs, and then you could include that everywhere if you want to uh, reference these somewhere else. Or actually, you might want to let's just start doing this now. Perhaps we want to move that to the sorry to the header file itself. So then, if you wanted to reference that ID, because you might want to use it somewhere else, um, you can just include the the header file in another class and then you'll get access to this ID if you wish to create this tag programmatically. So I'm moving away now from having it at the top of the header file uh, and top of the CPP file. I'm just going to put it in the header file there. So that's where that is, first tag. And we want a unique uh, ID for this as well. So I actually already did this myself uh, today, recording this pre-tutorial earlier and um, I ran into some issues so I had to start again. 
and if we come into support forum plugin cafe.maxon.net under plugin id and you just paste that in and click get plugin but since i said i've already done this um i've got my id here and you notice there since yesterday since the previous tutorial uh there's been another five ids allocated to someone out there in the world so that's why it's very important again to get your own id so that you don't clash with anyone because right now uh, there's probably a higher number than that out there somewhere in the world. 56,000 IDs uh, are currently out there somewhere inside of plugins. So let's come up back to our file and we paste that in. And something I like to do usually when I do this is when I know that I've changed this over, especially when I'm copying files from, uh, from the example or from somewhere, uh, I actually like to write the word done here myself so that I know when I come back that I have actually done this um, and again there's a little note there taken from the example uh, code that says you know go and get that from the plugin cafe uh, although that URL is now outdated but I'm just going to get rid of that comment and with this ID we have now set it it's now unique we can come down to our registration method and we can paste it in there and this is the registration function here register tag plugin and I'm going to call this register first tag. And our string is going to be IDS first tag. And that was from the symbols from this, uh, from the CPD strings. Oh, I just closed it, but that's okay. Uh, and we're going to leave this as an expression and tag visible. Now we can have a look at what these are. And Visible means that it will be visible in the object manager. So when you right click on something, it will show up in that menu. And if you don't want it to be in that menu, you can remove that and it will not show up. And the second thing here is if you wanted to, you could have multiple on a, an object. I'm not defining this. So at the moment, this tag can only be used on one object because we have not set that. It's not there. Okay. Uh, and the last thing is expression. So if expression is set, then that means that this method here will run. So right now we don't really need that because um, I'm not actually going to use that right now. Um, but I am thinking of using it in a previous uh, uh, tutorial coming up. So that's why I'm leaving it in there just for now. Um, although I keep saying that, and you know what? I'm going to remove it because I don't want it to want don't want this class to have anything in it that's not really required um, in this initial stage. So I'm getting rid of that and because it's no longer an expression, um, I could get rid of that as well. And because it's no longer an expression, I could also go into the header file of the resource file and I could uh, remove that from there as well, but I'll just leave that. So this is what we've got so far. And uh, I now need to come up to first tag and put that in there for the alloc. That is for this method here, which is gonna return the allocation function and pass it into this so that it is able to create a first tag whenever Cinema 4D needs one. And our description is first tag. And we've got a first tag to file. So that's all we need to get a tag uh, showing. Um, well, that's all we need for this setup for this, but we still need to enable it. So I'm copying that there and we're going to register it in the main.cpp file. But first in the header file, we paste in the declaration there. And in the main file, we go if not return false. And that should be a not. So again, we're just checking if this does not get registered. So we're going to call this method. And if this for some reason fails, which again usually happens if this ID is being used by someone else, then uh, this tag will not get um, registered and the plugin will return false and then our entire plugin this entire first plugin will return uh, false as well and it won't will not load so that's enough there to get this plugin loading and visible on screen so again once we get through all this uh, i guess you could call it boilerplate uh, functionality of how to add something uh, it'll get a lot more exciting. We'll start adding actual features, but what I'm trying to do now is work through, I'm just pressing play here, I'm just trying to work through explaining how to add the most uh, the most used things to Cinema 4D. And 
tags is quite important because obviously we use tags a lot. So I add a cube here. Now I can right click on here and we'll see a first plugin tags menu and under that is our tag and we can add it. And you can see the basic tab has the expression stuff and that was uh, loaded in because uh, we include had that include. But because we're not using expressions, I, I removed that. I can actually remove this from that resource file. And so let's just do that as well. So I close the resource file. So it's in C code. SDK, plugins, first plugin, resource, description, first tag, dot resource. And that was this here. So we don't want that, but we do want to be able to uh, get some default stuff for this. And the way we get that basic tag stuff is just include T base. Now I've got a file, a folder open here. So this is the Cinema 4D path. Maxon Cinema 4D R21 resource modules C4D plugin description. And in here, if you press T, you'll come down, you'll see T base. And if I right click, and go, uh, oh, oh, let's just drag these in actually. You'll see the expression one, that was the one we previously had. So let's just drag those in. So the base, and then we've got expression. So you see, that's the header file. So you see expression has that priority and it has the enabled, and then it has the uh, in, in empty tag properties. And base has uh, the base field, it has tag properties again defines it and then it has this uh, other O base list uh, group down the bottom there so that's the basics of of a tab uh, a tag sorry and in our header file our, our resource file we are essentially adding content to this so by defining that here we are able to add things to this group okay so we've just now we're including tbase, so we're just including this information here. So now, if I run Cinema 4D, and let me just remove those from here. We don't need expression. I don't need tbase. Then we can now add that again. First plugin, my first tag, and you'll now see under the basic that that. Uh, expression information is now gone so but we still have our tag and we have our parameter so right now that doesn't do anything but at least we've shown how you can create a tag and add it to your scene um, if we want to actually make this do something then um, I think we'll look at that in a future tutorial Yes, I will leave that for a future tutorial. So I'll just leave that there for today. That's enough. I'm trying to keep these videos short as possible, really. Um, so now you have tags, you have deformers, and you have objects that you can add to your scene. And we'll just add a few more things soon. You've also, obviously, in the previous tutorial, you've learned about the the layout. You've made dialogues and GE user areas. So we're, we're, we're getting there. We're getting a few things in. There's just a few more things that I want to cover, um, and then we might get into some actual functionality. All right, thanks.